Inside the university greenhouse, biology professor Zheng Hui Ho is using science to find ways to help improve human health and nutrition. And it all starts with tomatoes, purple tomatoes. There's a national trend that the health promoting fruits and vegetables, uh, we're supposed to eat five portions a day. And uh, the statistics shows that we only have about less than 23% uh, of the people doing that. So we weren't trying to um, uh, research on fruits and vegetables where actually we have the rich uh, health promoting uh, compounds uh, such as the pigment we really um, uh, like to study, which is uh, called anthocyanin. It's a purple pigment. This purple pigment has been proved to be a powerful antioxidant. In the store, you can actually see all kinds of purple uh, fruits and vegetables. For example, um, dark purple grapes and uh, blueberries. Berries in general are great, but uh, what happens is uh, it, it's kind of expensive to grow, and sometimes transporting and all kinds of costs uh, will get into the way. So what we're testing is to uh, have a, uh, a very well-defined um, tomato line that is not genetically modified in any way. It's a naturally occurring purple fruit. Some of the rich ones actually, even the juice can be purple if you have enough um, sun. So you can see it. And it, it definitely you can see the shiny purple color. Just like those found at the farmer's market, the tomatoes are heirloom varieties, varieties that are not commonly grown by large-scale agriculture. We want to find ways to see what is the best condition to produce as much anthocyanin and as much fruit as possible. The hope for this research is that it will show that it's possible to dramatically improve the nutritional value of everyday foods. And Professor Ho plans to share his results among the community.